going on youtubers welcome to another video uh today we're checking out something different than i normally review uh, we're actually gonna be checking out a home theater recliner now this is not your average recliner that's like three to five hundred dollars this is a fifteen hundred dollar recliner it's supposed to be like an ultimate home theater recliner now they delivered it basically in a gigantic box on my doorstep i destroyed the box had to unplug this it has powered lumbar and head support. And my wife actually helped me carry it downstairs. She never helps me carry anything. Because it's uh, decently heavy. Uh, it's just awkward. And it's quite big. Uh, but basically, we've got to insert those two wires into there. There's one additional wire for something uh, that basically allows it, uh, like, sound to come out from the chair. Here's the instruction manual. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, set this bad boy up there. Yeah, sound shaker cable. Uh, now, I may look into getting that. I'm going to watch some reviews, see if it's worth actually connecting. But we're going to go ahead and check this bad boy out and get it set up. Uh, so let's see how it is. Uh, one other thought I just had randomly, FYI is if I wanted to get my chair more in the middle towards the TV, because right now it's at a little edge, which doesn't bug me too much, but I could move the Terminator like that, all that over there, move G.I. Joe and put Terminator inside this, throw G.I. Joe in the other room, move Whore to the right, and that gives me 23 inches to where the couch would be like right here instead, which is much more in the middle. <clears throat> I'm going to see how I like it first here. Uh, and then, of course, if I move the, you know, G.I. Joe and Terminator, that does free up this spot, which I'd probably just do my Alien Independence Day life-size bust uh, right there. I think that would be a good one. And then maybe the Necronomicon book, just a prop underneath since there's limited space underneath. Uh, I may, I might do this. I'm going to first set it up right here and see how I like it and if I want to move everything. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, move it, it and then check out this couch. Alrighty, folks, so here is the chair in my setup. Now, there's uh, quite a few nice things about having this chair here. Now, I can completely see inside these two cabinets, where before my previous couch blocked it, now there's no blocking. Now, I can actually even scoot it over a few inches, which I'll probably do. So, here's the couch. Kind of a pain to set up, uh, but not that bad i have it you know that much against the wall i haven't even honestly sat in it yet i needed a shower first just because i was a sweaty monster uh so we're gonna go ahead and sit at it for the first time and i can give you my full opinion i did install the optional little stand here for like food or your laptop for me i'll mostly use it for my laptop uh, i don't generally eat down here too much every now and then but i do work uh, and my laptop gets really hot and generally I use that thing and that's not even enough. So uh, this will be really convenient. Now there is some buttons here as well. Now watch this. Uh, this is really cool. Boom. Has this light up feature at the bottom and right there, which is really convenient. Because if you're in the dark, you can't see where your couch is at. You have that lit up. It just looks cool and classy. So I do like it. You know, both the bottom and each cup holder lights up. And that, of course, is optional with a button. So we're going to go ahead and sit down now. Whew. So this is a leather couch. I'm not used to leather. I'm used to mostly some sort of fabric. But the idea is really to try out this recliner. So as you notice, these actually light up as you're pressing it. So we're going to go ahead and recline this bad boy. Oh boy, this goes really low. Oh mama. Alrighty, so this does also have optional lumbar. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it right there in my mid back. I can hear that. And head. So basically it's pushing my head forward as if it's like a pillow. So, and then if you press one of these buttons, it actually resets it. Oh yeah, that just got rid of all my lumbar. And this one is completely resetting everything else. 
So one completely resets lumbar, the other resets the head and the foot. Uh, so it's definitely very comfortable. Sorry about that. So yes, it does have these two uh, optional, well, basically, it's funny, this was never inside that. Whoa, look how deep that mother is. Jupiter, that is way deeper than all my previous ones. And these are quite springy. So you get two of these to put your remotes, gum, whatever the heck you want. So yeah, that's really convenient. I love all the different features on this. I'm curious on that sound shaker, how that's gonna work. But overall, the couch looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful, it's very comfortable. It extends, I love the lumbar support, the neck rest, two cup holders, which is really nice. And now with these right here, which I absolutely love, I'm gonna go ahead and put my TV remotes in there. So now I don't have to worry. That is super deep, so you definitely have a lot of space to put stuff in there. You could put full water bottles, soda, you name it. I could probably even fit my laptop in that. Uh, very strong as well. And I believe you can get additional accessories to insert into these little bad boys. Cause you know, this is something you can use. You can switch that TV tray over here if you want it on the left side. So, and you simply just pull it up. Very easy to use. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you this recliner without me sitting in it. I do love how it lights up when you press it though. All right, check out that. So I'm a very large, you know, human, six foot four, 250 pounds, and it definitely fit me very well. This is the supposed to be the big and large version. Uh, you know, for, for larger people like myself. So hopefully, you know, the one thing with couches I always find is after sitting in it for so long, eventually just like sinks in and it gets very uncomfortable. That's the problem with my last couch. It was fabric and it just felt like it sunk in when I sat in it. It had no support, no lumbar. So I really wanted one with powered lumbar support to really give my back support. And this definitely has that and it has that giant pad right here. And the lumbar is not even on. Check this out. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it expanding right now. Like it's like someone just got pregnant, but you can just see how that expanded. So that's really good for your back, especially when you start getting at my age, you know, in your very early thirties, you really need to take care of yourself to prevent injury. So check out the light up underneath. So it's just a light bar. And I don't think you can take this off, no but very comfortable, very cool. Uh, it's, you know, made of a extremely high quality leather. Now I'm not an expert by, in leather by any means, but most people I know in general, le leather is coveted and, you know, more wanted than your typical fabric. It doesn't stain as easy. See, I love the reset button. There also is a USB right there. So you can go ahead and charge your phone. So I'll definitely, uh, you know, get a USB, throw it in there when I need to charge my phone and whatnot. But let's go ahead and sit down again. So this is going to be my angle to the TV. Now I'm probably going to scoot this actually completely to the left next to Freddy. And th this is my angle. Now, like I said, I can move Terminator. If I move Terminator, I'd really have to see how it looks. You know, having a half scale over here. But I could potentially do it. But I don't mind this at all. You know, I can see the TV perfectly fine. Now this thing definitely looks like, is it gonna be a fingerprint magnet? Oh yeah, definitely a fingerprint magnet. You can see fingerprints immediately. So it's gonna be something you're gonna wanna probably have a little cloth so you can clean it and it does not get dirty. I'm just not gonna touch it with my bare hands for the most part, touch the side. But very convenient to have this. Looks like it'll fit my laptop perfectly. And if I don't want it, just lift it up and boom. So it's just like that. So you just simply insert it into that little thing. So very convenient for sure. 
So overall, is this couch worth $1,500? I mean, I'm going to have to really sit in it for like a good week to determine that. It's hard to say in five minutes, uh, but definitely excited to finally have this. Uh, so again, this is by Seacraft. Uh, this is the Pantheon. Uh, it was fifteen hundred bucks on Amazon with shipping and tax. It's funny thing is it's now sold out, going for twenty five hundred. So I'm glad I got it that lower price when I did. But it's definitely a beautiful looking uh, couch. Gonna you know enjoy this while I can. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Hey folks, so I have gone ahead and decided to move the couch in the middle. Uh, so in order to do this, I had to move my Terminator setup. So I am going to have to move G.I. Joe into the other room uh, where I've had it previously. And then this is going to be my Terminator setup. I still haven't connected him to my lighting. I just need to run an extension cord. But we're going to do the bust here, the one force like that. And then this one just underneath. I think that looks really cool. Saving that for like blankets and whatnot when I don't want to use a blanket. You know, sometimes it gets chilly in here. So the cat couch is going to go right here works out much better in every possible way both using that console so it didn't like potentially hit and it's just much much better uh so we had to move jason freddy myers over and because we took terminator out we did need to put something here so i'm going to go ahead and put my independence day bus which i previously actually had in here and then on the bottom uh doing the Necronomicon and I probably will get one additional prop or a one-tenth of ash or something to go right there just to give it a little extra. Maybe the Kandarian dagger. I need to see if that fit in there. I don't think it would. I think it's 27 inches. But this looks pretty good. Now it's pretty much all horror. I mean you can argue that Hellboy and Independence Day are technically not horror but I think they still fit and look great. Uh, so you can just see that how that looks. Still waiting for ash one-third. And then my props, which will go there and there. Uh, so this is basically how it's gone. Uh, gonna have to rearrange a little bit to get G.I. Joe to look good in another room. Otherwise, I am pretty confident I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm digging it quite a bit. Alrighty, that's it, folks. See you next time.